guys. I am here with another glued in pot and I figured I'd just make a quick video again. Um, this is the second one. I had two of these guys that I got on clearance and I, I liked the little tubs and I have a plan for those for later. And then this one I actually bought on purpose because I love this little gasteria that's here. And um, the other ones were just kind of sad or or ones that I wasn't as excited about. This is a little Kalanchoe that's dying here. But um, like I was talking about in the last video, which I'm just gonna cut this guy off, because I'm not gonna try and save him. This little. All right, but as I was always talking about in the other video, a lot of these pots, they glue the rocks in and it can be really frustrating. So I always start from the edges and a butter knife works really well for me. You can use whatever works for you, but um, prying them loose a little bit. And um, if there's if there's an area in your pot where like mine here, a plant died and so there's a hole where you can kind of get in between the rocks, that can be helpful sometimes. But usually starting from the edge and, and prying up and getting um, getting a hunk of rocks off and going from there is the way that's easiest for me. Sometimes going all the way around the edge with the knife, like um, like it was a cake that you were trying, or a muffin that you were trying to get out, and then dumping the entire thing out can really help, so keep that in mind. If, um, if doing it the way I'm showing or however else you're trying um, isn't working, sometimes you need to just loosen the entire thing from the pot and dump the whole thing out. And this one is actually a lot. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't wet this one down. I'm going to do this real quick. This is warm water. It helps, um, if nothing else, it helps detach the the rocks from the soil beneath it so the rocks kind of come off in a little bit of a an upper layer but sometimes it also helps with warm water if if um, the glue is a little bit water soluble which some people um, some companies use more water soluble glue yes yeah, see this is this is helping it's not completely water soluble but it just allows you to break up the clusters more which is what what we're wanting yeah that 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 made it a lot better I just totally spaced that I hadn't I thought I had spritzed this one down earlier but obviously I hadn't but cool water doesn't seem to work nearly as fast so get the water pretty hot because by the time it comes out of your sprayer and over the rocks and down by the roots of your plants it isn't going to be hot anymore um, you don't need boiling water but um, hot tap water works really well and just start chiseling off the pieces and as I said in um, the other video that I did these are type of arrangements tend to be cuttings not um, not actually fully rooted plants and so when you're removing them keep that in mind that there may just be some smaller stems um, down below not a ton of roots and when you're buying, keep that in mind. If you're wanting a really healthy plant, buying in an arrangement like this is not the best option. Um, it may be a really healthy cutting, but very rarely are they big, healthy plants in arrangements like this because the root system of a plant this size um, would be too big to crowd in with all of these others if they were really healthy a lot of times. So just keep that in mind some of the plants um, that have smaller some of the succulents that have smaller root systems they do plant um, entirely in here and don't do cuttings I'm guessing the gasteria is going to be that way because these guys don't do cuttings as much so I'm guessing this guy is going to have a bigger root system yes which is why which is one of the reasons I wanted this one because I knew that they weren't going to be doing cuttings off of off of this type so this was just planted in the pot and then cuttings were put around it to make the arrangement all right this looks like one little cluster I'm gonna raise the camera up and you can say hi to my son Hudson Yay! this is Hudson he's been watching a movie and he just came down to see what I'm doing okay so with this guy you can see the rocks all glued around him 
just peel them off. Um, if if they're glued to the plant, don't don't grab an entire cluster and pull it off of the plant. Try and peel them away one at a time. It'll um, give you a lot better chance of not damaging your plant when you get to the rocks that are actually glued. So here's a rock that's actually glued to the plant. If it was an entire cluster, it um, it just has too much force when you're pulling it off, and it tends to um, peel skin off the plant or um, harm the plants a lot of times. So going one at a time once you get closer to the plant can help prevent damage. These guys got up in the top somehow. And you can use your butter knife to pry. Just gonna remove that whole clump of dirt. And there's another lovely little plant and both of these were full plants, they have nice nice root systems, which is exactly what I expected, which is why I wanted this guy, which is a lot of fun. Okay, let's get this last little jade of some variety. I'm not sure which variety exactly this is. It's kind of um, sad. <laughs> I wanna say it's like an ogre ear or something like that. There's so many common names that I, jade aren't, jade aren't really my jam. And so I am not um, very adept at just spouting off of off their names um, by sight. And I'm just going to save this guy. It looks like some type of probably sedum. And I'm just going to poke him in my starting tray because why not? Got a whole bunch of other stems there. They may survive. They may not. I wasn't... Um, I wasn't buying the pot for this this plant, so I'm not super worried. These guys were, like I think I said that these guys were on clearance, and I loved the, the pot, and I figured for a couple dollars the pot would be great. I might could salvage a few of these stems, and then I would get this lovely little cluster of gasturia also. But I do love um, just traditional jade, the really old plants where they get the trunks that look like trees. Those are just to die for. I adore old jades. I just don't have a ton of patience for growing them into old plants. I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna find an old one at an estate sale again or something and have one. I, this leaf was broken quite a while ago, it looks like. It was deformed and sunburned anyway, so I'm just gonna remove that one. These guys look like they have a little bit of mealy bugs going on. And I'm not sure if this, this may have been a whole plant too. This doesn't look like a cutting, which I'm surprised. So this pot had, looks like a couple plants, or else it's possible that this, these guys just rooted in the last while that I've had them. Um, if you can see here, I'm gonna steal my light and bring it a little bit closer. If you can see in the top here, right in there, I don't know if you can see, there's some mealy bugs. Just a couple. Pretty normal when the plants get stressed like this and neglected as this pot has been to have a couple mealy bugs. It doesn't look like they're really infested, but I will wash these off really well and plant them up in a different pot. And there we go. So, tips. Warm water on the top of the rocks before you start chiseling. It really, really makes a, a big difference. Um, they, it doesn't dissolve. You can't just spray and hope that the rocks will just all crumble and it'll just completely dissolve. You'll still have to work at it a bit. But it really, really helps um, getting them out. So spray the top with hot water um, and chisel away um, and keep in mind that prying from the edges will will help more than prying from directly close to the stem because you're a lot more likely to damage the plant so try and loosen from around the edges and move inward rather than the opposite direction alrighty these guys are gonna go get hosed off and sprayed down with some alcohol to make sure that there are no no mealies hiding down inside of you know th these type of leaves um, they can get down inside here which 
is um, not what we want. So I'm going to go give this guy a bath. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and happy growing.